turtles are distinctly characterized by their tough skin, slow movement, beaks, and armored shell. Turtles can be distinguished from tortoises, which also belong to the family Testudines, by their inclination towards moist environments. Turtles, unlike vertebrates, have their hip and shoulder bones inside their rib cage because the rib cage is attached to the upper and lower shells. Turtles do not have teeth and instead have hard, flat surfaces on their jaws. Turtles come in a vast variety of sizes, the largest is up to 1200 pounds and 8 feet long, the smallest being a little smaller than 5 inches in full body weight. There are two main types of turtles, turtles straight necks and side necks. The turtle is in the kingdom Animalia with the phylum Chordona. Its class is Reptilia and its order is Testudines. Animals of the phylum Chordona have a distinct hollow dorsal nerve cord and a post anal tail. Being of class Reptilia, this means the turtle lays eggs that contain in the embryo an amnion, a double membrane that allows the turtle to breathe on land. Also, the turtle is cold blooded. There are 14 extant families of testudines, approximately 300 extant species and 97 genera of testudines, split into two suborders. edges along with spikes. The also decrease in size. Two similarities we see from the beginning, the Odo Kilkulis, all the way to the K and Dumbbells, is that overall body type and size remain just the same and a range of four legged detriment. There's a wide variation among species of turtles. One example being the diamondback turtle. It is one of the most physically varied turtles that exist. They each have different shell patterns, skin color, white, and even shape. For the northern diamondback terrapin, shell color is variable from black to light brown. The color of the head, neck, and legs varies from white to gray, with black dots or flecks, and flash brown colors to range from orange to greenish gray. As opposed to the northern diamondback terrapin, the Carolina diamondback terrapin has a medial heel ridge with a knob and its darkest scales curve upwards. Shell color and skin, head, and neck color have the same variation along with the flash brown color. One of the most relevant environmental factors related to a turtle's environment for selecting pressure is water. A shortage of food on land may have pushed turtles to resort to the sea for food, causing quickness instead of heat. These turtles are commonly referred to as sea turtles. Freshwater turtles, however, living in ponds and rivers, Freshwater turtles are also relatively smaller than sea turtles. The largest freshwater turtle is about 400, while the largest sea turtle is around 1200. Another relevant factor for variations of the turtles is the weather. Those turtles in dry and arid conditions, such as deserts, which we know as tortoises, have four short, stubby legs. Tortoises are most other times herbivores, but may result to protein in this soup. Freshwater or sea turtles. side of the belly covered by a shell. Over time, the upper shell was developed and has helped turtles escape their grasp of predators. As the shell gives sufficient protection against these predators. For sea turtles, the flippers and diet they have gained, 
help maintain the species as well. These adaptations have helped to maintain the species because they are so well adapted to the environment. The Odon Kokuri, the first Podotoro fossil, was found in China. It dates back 220 million years. This solar shell provided water protection, and as a result, these turtles went extinct fossils. The second oldest turtle, the Fogan Okuris, dates back to around 210 million years ago. This turtle actually has an upper shell. This turtle exemplifies natural selection in that those turtles with an upper shell went extinct, and those with upper shells survived. The Cayenne Dakuris, the oldest known North American turtle, which lived in Jurassic period around 195 million years ago, had a top shell as well, helping it survive. Cryptodera, or straight neck turtles, and Podoria, side neck turtles now compose testudines today. These have lived from the Triassic to the present day. These turtles all have upper shells, no matter the species. These upper shells have helped maintain the, the continuation of all species of turtles we see living today. Molecular evidence shows that turtles are the closest relatives to birds and crocodilians as opposed to lizards, snakes, and tuataras. Results of Boston University researchers determined and confirmed that fact. Note that more than a thousand of the least changed regions in the genomes of turtles and their closest relatives and came to the conclusion that turtles are more closely related to crocodiles and birds than lizards, snakes, and tuataras. Crawford, a leading researcher in the study from the U, says turtles have been an enigmatic vertebrate group for a long time, and morphological studies place them as either more, most closely related to the ancestral reptiles that diverged early in the reptile evolutionary tree, or as closer to lizards, snakes, and tutaras. In challenging the common belief, DU used data from many single copy nuclear loci spread throughout the genome. That use sequence capturing that produce strong molecular evidence. With this molecular evidence, the hypothesis that turtles are more closely related to crocodilians and birds has a vast amount of proof and backup. Being close relatives to birds, turtles' beaks have evolved in varying size depending on location and diet. Population isolation plays a role in the speciation of turtles in that most turtles are isolated to certain islands. We see the diamondback peregrines spread throughout the world, some isolated to islands and some isolated to states in the U.S. An example of this is the Florida East Coast diamondback peregrine, which is isolated to the Florida East Coast, whereas the ornate diamondback peregrine is isolated to Florida's East Bay. Through this, we see an emergence of different subspecies of peregrines with different characteristics in terms of shell, shape, and color, skin color, etc. This population isolation role in, in speciation has created new subspecies amongst turtles, and it is the same for other species such as bog turtles and snapping turtles. Mutation of turtles has led to variations in beak size, overall size, and weight, color in the legs, head, and neck, and flash brown color. In terms of speciation, Mutation has played a role in terms of a turtle's survival, daily life, and diet. In connection with selection, mutations in turtle's beaks have established a turtle's diet and whether it is herbivorous, carnivorous, or omnivorous. Selection for turtles has pushed speciation also in terms of its diet. Certain turtles only eat certain food. The eastern box turtle, an omnivorous turtle, is located in regions where it can have a sufficient food source whereas the carnivorous smooth stock-billed turtles are found at the bottom of rivers, such as the Mississippi River, because they eat small fish. Because of turtles' diets, different forms of turtles have evolved along with their beaks, thus enabling speciation. Now, turtles are found from islands to gulfs to the bottom of rivers and tributaries. Mutual separation and isolation have led to three generalized types of turtles, freshwater, sea turtles, and tortoises which will never cross paths, nor will they ever mate. Sea turtles live in salt water, while freshwater turtles tend to live along rivers, ponds, marshes, etc. Most tortoises tend to live on land, the most common around tortoises being the desert tortoise. Freshwater turtles are relatively small compared to tortoises and sea turtles. 
the largest freshwater turtle is a Yangtze giant softshell turtle weighing around 440 pounds. And the largest tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise weighing up to 700 pounds. The largest sea turtle is the leatherback weighing over 1,000 pounds. These weight differentials, as well as different body shapes, may be contributed to different environments. Tortoises live on land, having a tough, roughly dome-shaped shell and teeth. Sea turtles living in water have evolved to gain circles. The leatherback turtle, the largest sea turtle, lives in water and thus only has one mate with the other leatherbacks, maintaining their aquatic nature. The Galapagos turtle, the largest tortoise, lives in the isolated island of the Galapagos and has reproduced multiple times with only other giant Galapagos tortoises, making them as massive as they are today.